Happy New Year, if it really counts as a Happy New Year. And welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Hello, and welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. We've got some bits and bobs to get through. Quite a few, actually. Oh. Pogba is wanted by Potter's PSG. Hmm. Tongue twister. <laughs> Napoli make Tierney a long-term target. Hmm. United lock horns with PSG for breast midfielder Romain Favre, according to the Daily Mail. And John Kennedy has revealed veteran Celtic skipper Scott Brown could get another 12-month playing contract when his current deal expires next summer. Hmm. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho praised Deli Alli and gets some Fernandez for their creation and mobility in the science 5 0 FA Cup win over Mourinho. <sighs> Arteta is aiming to help Pepe succeed. Will Chelsea swoop for Upa Makana? Maybe. Ask Mesut returns. I mean, you won't see this, but if I had to ask him a question, I'd be like, how's the funny Barche talks going? And then he'd say, no comment. Dembele is set to join Atletico Madrid. Jadon Sancho admitted he has endured a difficult season at Borussia Dortmund, but he is happy to be back among the goals again in the Bundesliga. <laughs> Real Madrid striker Luka Jovic is reportedly looking to exit the club because he has lost the trust of manager Zinedine Zidane. Arteta doesn't follow Twitter. Swansea have announced... Is this really a done deal? I suppose you can't make it one. It's a done deal. Allen and oops, oh, Swansea have announced Mark Allen as their club's new academy director. I was trying to make it understandable so we didn't have to make it longer. Could AC Milan come in for Philippe Anderson? Maybe. Why did I say maybe with your voice? I don't know, love. Could Socrates, Papastopoulos, leave Arsenal? For Genoa. Antonio Conte is not expecting any January business with Inter. Why do you sound so depressed? Dunno. So Vandenberg could be allowed to go out on loan despite the injury crisis. To be fair, he stars and played. Lampard, are comf Lampard is confident of unlocking Chelsea, unlocking Chelsea's potential. How did say done, dear? Joey! <laughs> and Gareth Wally, or Whaley, or Wally, have joined the coaching staff of Manchester City women on a temporary basis. Lucas Tawera. Arsenal have made a decision regarding the future of Tawera with Fiorentina expressing interest. There's some rumours. There's a rumour about Arsenal. Mura. is going to renew his contract. Who has signed a one-year contract extension? He turns 54 next month. Mate, you've only got like, you've only got like 24 years to live. Might as well use it well, I suppose. RB Leipzig opened the door for an Upamecano exit. 
Brentford have recalled midfielder Jan Zamborek from his loan spell with Shrewsbury. Yusuf Malumbu has extended his deal with Kilmarnock until the end of the season. The 33-year-old midfielder turned to the Rugby Park Club for the third time on a short-term deal last August. Goalkeeper Jake S. Eastwood has returned to Sheffield United following his loan spell. And also there's new Covid clauses in the room. Find out more about them elsewhere. <sighs> Peter Kyosho's loan spell with Bolton has been cut short after he was recalled by parent club Luton. Could Arsenal move for Grant? It's an open race for Caicedo. Manchester United were talking about Moises Caicedo's agent for many weeks, but they decided again to add another young player as part of their strategy. They're not going to Caicedo, but I do expect them, expect them to move in the Prem, but he did receive a bid from the Italy and, and the MLS. Brighton are the ones massively interested in. Rangers approach for Aberdeen's player Scott Wright. Rangers will make an approach for Aberdeen player Scott Wright. Hey, it don't need to be a translator, mate. Could Manchester United players leave this summer? Maybe. Salford have announced that midfielder Martin Smith has left the club by mutual consent. Liverpool signing Upper Meccano is impossible, according to Jurgen Klopp. Because he can't spend 70 mil on a centre back. Has Ozil been dropping for a hints? With a social media activity? Tottenham are in talks to sign Stuttgart winger Nicholas Gonzalez, according to The Athletic. And it's a done deal. Forest Green sign Hutchinson on loan from Derby County. Isaac Hutchinson. Tromme have announced that Jack Young and forward Sam Smith have returned to Newcastle and Reading, respectively. Bayer Leverkusen are in talks to sign Timothy Fossey Manchester from Manchester United. Hmm. And it's a done deal. Paul Vale have announced the signing of Jake Taylor from Nottingham Forest on a three and a half year deal. Our stories just ran out. They just deleted a bunch of videos on it. Photo line. Liverpool ponder centre-back options. Stoke City are in advanced talks with Charlton Athletic winger Alfie Doughty. The 21-year-old is the subject of three bids of around £650,000 from championship clubs including QPR and Bournemouth, but Stoke are believed to be leading the race for his signature. Any deal or will see Doughty loan back to Charlton as he recovers from a hamstring injury, which will keep him out till March. Um, on Twitter, there's been um, something about Charlie's first day back. Valencia are interested in a low move for Tottenham midfielder Harry Winks. Is there going to be the Neil deal? Sunderland are considering sign sending fringe midfielder Dan Neil out on loan, with a number of football league clubs interested in 19 year old. That's a terrible plan! Okay, that's weird. Anyways, Blackburn bid for Pickering. Hmm. Harry Pickering from Crew. And it's a done deal. Manchester United goalkeeper Nathan Bishop has signed a new deal until 2023 with the option of a further year. Celtic have recalled midfielder Scott Robertson from his loan at Gilligan to help out with their coronavirus issues. The 19 year old will go straight back into the depleted first team, which currently has 14 players self isolate. Ozil talks up Turkey move, and he needs to answer some proper questions, apparently. And that's it! In goodbye. Et voila, I'm gone. You're still in the camera sight. Oh, whatever, anyways, thanks for watching this episode. Goodbye. Goodbye! See you later. Okay, that's weird.